Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are fortunate enough to have a laptop in the studio which we are going to be unboxing. Well, the review of the laptop will be coming later, so make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on that video when it comes out. Now let's check the specs that it comes with. It has an Intel Core i5 11th gen processor with a max speed of 4.5 GHz. It also has an M.2 SSD with a size of 256 GB. It comes with 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM and then a dedicated graphics card, which is the NVIDIA RTX 3050. It also has some ports such as the USB-C, HDMI, and then USB Type-A ports. The keyboard is a backlit type, and so it can be turned on or off. It has an HD camera and also a 16.1 inch diagonal display. And what PC are we unboxing today? It's the HP Victor 16, which was first released last year. Now let's open the box up to see what we get inside the box. Inside the box, we get the PC itself and also a power supply. The power supply delivers 200 watts to the PC, which is 20 volts and 10 amps. We also get a warranty that lasts for one year, and the user manual that we find in most gadgets. Now let's talk about the PC. This particular one we have in the studio comes with a matte blue color. You also have the black color and the white one as well, produced by HP. Talking of design, the PC has a smooth and polished design with a huge V logo that we can find at the center of the display. You also see some writings at the end, which has the Victus written at the center. And at the far left, you have a message written by HP, which says, designed and engineered by HP. I don't know if it's 0 016 or 0 016, but let's take it that way. Now let's go to the sides of the laptop. At the far end of the laptop, we have a wide vent outlet that receives air from the huge fans that we find in the PC. At the left hand side, you've got a power supply jack, an RJ45 Ethernet port, an HDMI 2.1 port. You also have a USB 3.1 Type A port and a USB 3.2 Type C port. At the far end, you've got a microphone headphone combo jack and also a full size micro SD, which will be very useful to content creators and photographers. When we go to the front side, we have no ports there, just a pointed and sharp design over there. At the right hand side, you also get two more USB 3.1 type A ports. Now let's check the back to see what's there. Speaking of the back, you get a huge vent inlet, that's about 40% of the space there. At the far ends of the PC, you also get a dual speaker setup. It takes 8 screws to be able to get into the internals of the PC. Speaking of the internals, this PC has been upgraded from the previous specs that we saw at the beginning of the video and it will be shown in the review video. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. Let's open up the display to see what HP has provided there. It's good to know that HP has made it possible to be able to open the PC just with one hand, which is something that has become very useful nowadays. The 16.1 inch display provides us with the following features. This version of the PC has the normal 60Hz refresh rate that we find on PCs, but you can also get the 144Hz display at a higher price. It also has a brightness of 250 nits, while it's not that bright. The 1080p resolution display also has the normal camera layout we see at the top that's there with its flashlight. The laptop comes with a dual array microphone, which means that it's able to cancel noise in the background. Speaking of bezels, the laptop has slim bezels at both the sides and also on top. But coming to the bottom, we get a huge bezel there because of the V shape that we find on the PC. But it could have been made smaller or reduced a bit so that we get a 16 by 10 aspect ratio display that we find on newer PCs that are coming up these days, not the normal 16 by 9 that we get. The keyboard deck of the laptop 
comes with a full-size keyboard and that means that we also get the numpad keys as well. The keyboard deck of the HP Victor 16 also has some air vents that can be found closer to the display. Before we talk about the bottom part of the HP Victor 16, let me draw it to your attention that the PC has a plastic case and not the metallic or aluminium type that we find on certain PCs. HP has also provided some features that we find on the HP Omen laptops, such as the Omen Gaming Center, and its key on the keyboard can be found at the numpad section. At the bottom part of the HP V216, we get a large trackpad, which is also plastic and not the glassy type we find on some high-end pieces. The large trackpad is also left-centered, which might not be convenient to some groups of people. At the left-hand side of the trackpad, we get the Victus writing there and some information provided by HP. On the right-hand side, we get the Intel logo and also the Nvidia logo. We also see a writing there which says that the dual speakers we find at the back was made by Bang and Odusen. That was a whole lot of features to talk about on this PC. Now let's turn it on to see how it boots up. Now it is done booting. This is how the Windows 11 desktop looks on the HP V216. We also get some apps that were installed by the shop that it was bought from. The contact details of the shop will be provided in the description section, just in case you want to purchase one of the HP V216 or any other type that you prefer. They also have some laptop accessories as well, which will be mentioned in the description section. Alright friends, that's all for now. But what do you think about the build quality, the design, and then the physical appearance of the PC? Drop your thoughts in the comment section and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have come this far without doing that yet. Tap the like button if you enjoyed this video and share to family and friends as well. See you in the next video.